Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. And welcome to this new video uh, on Sui. I wanted to do a quick video on that. I mean, I, I haven't covered it in the last in, in the last couple of days. First of all, and apart from that, um, it does seem to have some momentum here still, right? Even in these market circumstances, which um, they're not the worst, but they're also not the best either. I mean, look at Bitcoin. It's it's, it's up and down. Uh, it's very choppy. And even in those choppy market circumstances, Sui has been doing fine. And right now, I would say, I mean, if you look at the four hour time frame, it's, it's bullish. All right. It's not as bullish anymore as it was uh, last week. So last week, Sui just broke out above 1.45 and 1.5 right here. Um, excuse me. But it just broke above that level, so then obviously it has more momentum, um, and that's I think I think you can also see that right here. But I'm actually not sure. But then obviously we still had that bullish momentum. Right now, what you can say is that it's um, is that it's get, getting closer. Yeah, here you can see the open interest back then was was just higher. So right now the thing is is that this is some sort of a consolidation. All right, on top of uh, on top of 1.45. We're consolidating here and we're waiting for some sort of a some sort of a breakout right so you can also see most important level is probably this level up here at 1.6 and uh, at 1.64 it's pretty logical as well this is this is the top you can also see technically that that's the uh, resistance level but it's also interesting to see that actually the um the um the most important level from from the volume is also up there uh, it's not really respected. It's it's sporadically uh, respected, but the main question is is like Sui is going to break out, all right? So if you if you assume that the the main levels are 1.45 slash 1.5, and then 1.64 slash 1.62, you know that a breakout is coming. But what we just have to do is we have to kind of predict and we have to look at all all the numbers, um, and uh, and say which one of those breakouts is more likely. And at this moment, if I, first of all, if I would purely look at the technicals for Sui, um, which, no, all right, maybe at the end of the video, we'll still look at the fundamentals, but not right now. Uh, but if I look at the technicals, I would say, all right, we'll have one more drop down to 1.5. There's a strong support level there, so we can grab some, we can grab some strength, um, find support there, maybe, maybe touch it once more and then break above 1.65 uh, to get up to 1.75, but probably even higher up to 1.85 and 1.9 and then potentially two dollars later i would say that's most likely if you look at the technicals but like i said i mean i am worried a little bit about these um about these numbers with the open interest because what you can see is that this is historically a level where sui has difficulty to to, to get above all right you can see that right here right now it's, it's dropping and the last last two times we actually got um to that open interest, which we also got to right now after dropping down after that uh, that that bullish momentum last week, the last two times like we dropped down quite a bit, and I'm not telling you that Tui is is going to crash, but Tui is a little bit manipulated, and I do think that there's quite a lot of quite a lot of liquidity, but we'll find out now. Uh, I do think that there's quite a lot of liquidity to the downside. So that always acts as some sort of a magnet. Um, here you can see it like 1.4 and 1.38. So I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm a little bit worried about Sui dropping down all the way to 1.3. And it would still be, I would say that there's still a possibility at bullish momentum from there. But I I am leaning towards telling you that I think it's most likely will we'll drop down there. All right. Because like I said, I mean, this open interest is not great. Like the price making a, a higher high right here. Because that's what's happening. It's making a higher high, even though it's, it's not too high. While the open interest is making a lower high, that's a bit of a divergence. And it's not a great divergence, divergence to have, all right? So I'm worried about that. I think initially, at least, we can expect more bearish momentum, all right? So down to our main, main support level at around, uh, at around this level at 1.45. If from there, and that's the main test, if from there... Sui actually does gain momentum again, and the momentum starts to get towards 230 again and, and tries to break above that, then we're fine, all right? So then Sui can hold that level and probably still break out and rally up higher. But if Sui drops down there and the open interest keeps dropping down, which this is something you'll, you'll have to look at for yourself or wait for my next update. If that keeps dropping down, so if we, or you can also look at the volume, I think, then it's more likely, and I actually am leaning towards saying this is most likely in general, that will drop down below 1.45 that will drop down towards this region around 
I think that's most likely. All right. I would be I would be prepared for that. Will I trade that? I'm not sure. Maybe. I if you want to know that, consider joining my signal group. For now, this is what you need to know about Sui. All right. So if you do have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to check out my uh, uh, yeah no. Ask me the questions. I'll try to I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. For now, have a great week and bye.